Now let me start by saying I'm all for setting traps and I'm all for being tricky, but there are some times in a poker hand where you just need to be aggressive and passive play will get you into trouble. This hand from the EPT will illustrate just that. Let's take a look here. So here we see ace queen, early position. That's pretty much a raise. And uh, here we're gonna see the, the correct play, which is the raise. Now the action is on the small blind and he's got ace king. Let me stop it right there. The bet was way too big compared to his stack size at this point to just call. Sometimes, like I said, with ace king you can call, but in this case, Simonian really needed to just stick it in with ace king and he'd get himself in a very good situation because his opponent with ace queen is gonna call him and as you can see, he'd be about a three to one favorite. Instead, by calling what he does is he gives the big blind a good price to try and you know flop something. Now, if he doesn't catch an ace or a king on the flop, he's probably gonna have to check and fold. Whereas if he moves all in now, he's either gonna A, win the pot before the flop or B, likely get himself in a good situation against ace queen. So he just calls instead Action is on Likov, and he's got a garbage hand. He's got 10-3 of hearts, but he feels like, hey, you know what? Price is right. I'm going to take a flop with it. So three players to a flop. Simonian is going to have to act first as well, which is just such a big disadvantage. Position is so important. And now, as you can see, he's flopped nothing. Theoretically, he has the best hand in that ace-king highs ahead right now. Um, but 10-3 of hearts for Likov is the favorite because he can catch any heart. He can catch a 5, he can catch a 3, he can catch a 10 to win this pot. Uh, and this is a hand that he shouldn't even be in because if he, if Simonian would have played his hand right, he would have re-raised before the flop, got him out, picked it up. So it's checked over to the pre-flop raiser, who's going to be aggressive. Doshenko bets the flop. And now ace-queen is going to bully out ace-king. But he played his hand so passively here that now he's forced into a tough decision where he's probably going to just have to fold. So the action is going to be on Likov right now, who's got a big draw. And as you can see now by the percentages heads up, He's 62% to win this hand. And in situations like this, there's two ways to go, aggressive or passive. Now here we see the correct play, the aggressive move. If your opponent has something, oh well, you're still gonna have a lot of cards to catch to win. But if he doesn't, a hand like ace-queen, you're gonna push him off the hand. And Dovshenko folds. So as you can see in this one hand, illustrated how passive play cost ace-king the pot and aggressive play one leak off the pot. So what does that teach you? Push, 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 be aggressive when in doubt.